Hi, this video is for parents and students who are in grades K through five in Teton County School District. I hope this video will help you better navigate your iPad during distance learning and be able to easily access assignments and homework that your child's teacher has shared with you. So these are apps on this page that you will probably need to be using. I see Clever, which is a one-stop easy login for many apps. I see Seesaw, which is a way that parents are sharing, or teachers are sharing assignments and information with students. Classroom is similar. And the rest are a lot of Google products like Chrome, Google Docs, Translate, Drive, Sheets. Next you see self-service, and this is like your child's app store. This is where they can go to download apps that are pre-approved by the district. If they say install, they are not on the iPad. If they say reinstall, they are already there. This is also where you can check for updates on things such as Clever or Zoom. And again, if your teacher asks for a certain app, this is where you will go to find it. Next, I'm gonna show you Clever right here. When you tap Clever, you click log in with username and password, and then log in with Google. Then you'll type in your child's email that your teacher should have shared with you if your child cannot remember it. And if you need it, you can always reach out to them again. And the password. And this is Clever. Clever has a lot of quick and easily accessible links that your child might need. I see the at-home learning link. And down here we have our Google Drive. So what's neat is if you tap this, it should automatically log you into your Google Drive. And a lot of teachers will be using Google products such as Google Docs and Google Slides to share information with your child. But your kid might not know the look of this. This might look different than they're used to. So if you click on the three lines, and you go down to desktop version, this is the version they're used to seeing. They're used to seeing this on their computer. If they click new, that's how they can create a new Google Doc, a Google Sheet, Google Slides. They will also know um, the waffle. And here is where they would go to Google Classroom. Looks like you might have to type that email one more time. and your password. And it's logging in. And here you see all of the classes that your child's teacher might have added. Mostly specials and some homeroom probably. I see here computers for kindergarten and you see these join and decline buttons. These are ones that teachers have invited you to join their class. So you can click join. If I click on computers here, it will load the class and it says posted yesterday, new assignment, not a box. I can click also possibly on the classwork tab to see each assignment. If I click not a box, it says click on the Flipgrid link below. Your child can also click the back arrow and the three lines right here to quickly and easily navigate back to classes and see their other classes that they have assignments for. Now, if I click the home and go out, you can see Seesaw. I've already logged in, so I already see my classes. If I click on my name in the top corner, I can always join a class by clicking the plus or choose a different class that I am in by tapping on the left there. Activities are here. The journal is all of my own work. All right, I hope this helps.